ਹੀ ਹੋ ਗਏ can everyone able to see the screen right all right so today we are going to see sloka number 3.11 third chapter 11th sloka okay so i'll repeat one by one you can repeat after me yeah 
தேவான் பாவயதானேன தே தேவ பாவயந்துவ பரஸ்பரம் பாவயந்த பரம் அவஸ்பயதா தேவான் பாவயந்த நேனேன தேவ தே தேவ பாவயந்து பரஸ்பரம் பாவயந்த ஸ்ரேய பரம் அவஸ்பயதா தேவான் பாவய பாவயதானேன தே தேவா பாவயந்து பரஸ்பரம் பாவயந்த ஸ்ரேய பரம் அவஸ்பயதா எனிபடி வுட் லைக் டு ட்ரை டு ஸ்லோகா தேவான் தே தேவா பாவயந்து பரஸ்பரம் பாவயந்த ஸ்ரேய பரம் அவாக்கியதா இனிபடியல் cannot see it oh, okay somebody else can you say it it's okay bro ji even if it is wrong no problem devan bhavaya danena devan bhavaya danena te deva bhavantu ah te deva bhavantu ah parasparam bhavayanta ah parasparam bhavayanta ah treya param vapsyada treya param avapsyada anybody from mata ji would like to give it to me devan bhavaya danena te deva bhavayantu ah parasparam bhavayanta ah treya param avasthayada anybody devan bhavaya danena te deva bhavayantu va parasparam bhavayanta ha treya param avapsyada so we will read the word by word meaning devan please read demigods, demigods. bhavayanta bhavayada having pleased anena, anena. by the sacrifice by the te dos தேவா தெமிகாட்ஸ் பாவயந்து வில் ப்ளீஸ் வஹா யூ பரஸ்பரம் மியூஷலி பாவயந்த ப்ளீஸிங் ஐ ஒன் ஈச் அதர் ஸ்ரேயா பெனிடிக்ஷன் பரம் த சுப்ரீம் அவஸ்தியதா யூ வில் அச்சீவ் டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் த டெமிகாட் பீயிங் ப்ளீஸ்ட் பை சாக்ரிஃபைசஸ் வில் ஆல்சோ ப்ளீஸ் யூ and thus by cooperation between men and demigods prosperity will regain for all we'll read the purport first shila prabhupad ji the demigods are empowered administrator of material affairs the supply of air light water and all other benedictions for maintaining the body and soul of every living entity is entrusted to the demigods who are innumerable assistants in different parts of the body of the supreme personality of godhead their pleasures and displeasures are dependent on the performance of agnyas by the human being some of the agnyas are meant to satisfy particular demigods but even in so doing lord vishnu is worshiped in all agnyas as the chief benefactor beneficiary it is stated also in the bhagavad gita that krishna himself is the beneficiary of all kinds of agnya bhoktaram agnya tapasam therefore ultimate satisfaction of the agnya padi is the chief purpose of all agnya when these agnya are perfectly performed naturally the demigods in charge of different departments of supply are pleased and there is no scarcity in the supply of natural products 
performance of exhaust has many side benefits ultimately leading to liberation from material bondage by performance of exhaust all activities become purified as it is stated in the vedas ahara suddhav sattva suddhihi sattva suddhav dhruva smridhihi smridhi lambe sarva grandanam vipra moksha by performance of yajna one eatable becomes sanctified and by eating sanctified food stuffs one's very existence become purified by the purification of existence finer tissues in the memory become sanctified and when memory is sanctified one can think of the path of liberation and all this combined together lead to krishna consciousness the great necessity of present day society start the class by the mangala charan prayer om ajnana timranda sya jnanan jana shalakya shakshurun militam yena dasmai sri guruve namaha sri krishna obishtam tabidam yena budale swayam ruba kramachyam tadati swapadandikam vandeham sri guru sri yuda patakamalam sri gurun vaishnavamsa sri rupam sagar jadam sagahana rana dan vidam tam sadivam sadvaidam savadudam parijana sagidam krishna chaitanya devam sri radha krishna padan sahana lalitan sri vishakan vidam sha he krishna karna sindho dina bandho jagatpade gobesha gobika kanda radha kanda namo sude tapta kanchana gaurange radhe vrindavaneshwari prishbanu sude devi pranamami hari priye वाचा कल्पदूपश कृपा सिंधुभिदा भावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नमो ओं विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण प्रेष्टा भूदले श्रीमदे भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्यदारिणे नमो महावदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णा कृष्ण चैतन्य नाने गौरदेश नम नमो ब्रह्मण्य देवाय गौब्राह्मणेदाय जगत्तिदाय कृष्णा गोविंदय नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधरा श्रीवासादि गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण थैंक यू एवरी वन फॉर कमिंग दीस् ईवनिंग संगा सो टुडे वी आर सीईंग श्लोक नंबर थ्री पॉइंट लेवन ओके सो थ्री पॉइंट लेवन इज टाकिंग मेनली अबउट वी कॉल इट अस कर्म कांडा okay so this chapter itself the karma yoga chapter where the arjuna start with the begins with the arjuna's question okay arjuna was wanted to renounce all his duties and go back to forest and do the yajna not performing his assigned duties okay so that is when krishna is started explaining about the karma yoga so in this karma yoga in this in this particular chapter it begin with the particular sloka it begin with the karma kanda okay so here it explained about this is the first place the krishna is talking about the devadas deva the demigods okay first of all we need to understand who are all the demigods see we all i think most of them are working in this corporate world right so in corporate world we have our team lead we have our managers and then the senior managers then the vice president then comes the you know cto ceo and then we will end up with the founder right this is the hierarchy we have see all the things which we have in this material world is actually coming from the spiritual world in the 15th chapter krishna is saying about that urva moolam adaga saksham so this material world is just an perfected reflection of the spiritual world so the people think that like when i go to spiritual world why do why gunda world means like i will not be doing anything like that world will be different no no that's not the case actually even the spiritual world also will be like this but only thing is there is no duality so that we'll talk about the later part of this bhagavad gita but this material world is just a perverted reflection like you have a banyan tree in the bank of a lake and you can see the banyan tree in the lake right that reflection that reflection is the material world this reflection of this spiritual world so whatever there in the spiritual world is going to be here only but in a perverted manner so we have this hierarchy we have in the material world right so this hierarchy is especially wherever you go this hierarchy will be there 
like the people different people will be there they will be doing this different stuffs and they will be managing the different stuffs and they will be sanctioning different stuffs so like this similar to that there are many many number of devadas they are also doing different stuffs in order to manage this material world so imagine even a small company how many leaders we will be having like each team will should have a leader and all this teams combined together we, we should have one more leader like that even if running a, a small company itself we need many leaders imagine this material world this is actually a 25 percentage of the whole krishna's energy right to to manage this whole material world how many leaders we need how many devadas we need that is where these demigods come to they are all assigned to do a prescribed duty how many devadas are there any idea we used to say this number like 33 crores right the 33 crore devas like that we say in tamil so 33 crores devadas that's a number like the rough number we can say so all are present to manage this material world right like one of the predominant devadas is indra lord indra so he is the one benefactor of this rain like with him only this all this luxurious should come this rain will come these crops are growing because of this indra's benediction only so he is assigned for that like that there are many 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 other devadas they are all assigned to do prescribed duties right so suppose you want something you can do some agnya to that devada and when the devada are satisfied or the particular devada is satisfied then what will happen that devada they will be happy and they will provide you what is the benediction you wanted okay that is in short of the karma kanda like you are doing on karma and you are getting the benefit of it so that is the starting point of this karma kanda so while you are doing this doing this what will happen you are started pleasing the devadas and getting the benediction slowly what will happen that is what it mentioned in the purport if you see the second paragraph of the purport so the performance of agnya has many side effects ultimately leading to liberation from material bondage that is the highest level that is the end goal but what will happen by performance so the first thing it is mentioned here is in the vedas ahara suddha so when you perform the agnya and you keep all the bhogas and give it to the agnas and do the performance on the agnya and eat that prasadam that is the ahara suddha that prasadam is sanctified one so whatever you are eating after the agnas whatever you are consuming after the agnas that is a sanctified one purified one so that is will happen first thing ahara suddha and then sattva suddhi so what will happen sattva suddhi so the first one is the by performance agnya once eatable becomes sanctified and the second the sattva suddhi and by eating sanctified food stuffs once very existence become purified so when you start eating that sanctified that purified food stuff your exist- existence also will be purified and then after that our what will happen by the purification of existence finer tissues in the memory become sanctified and then once the your, the meaning here is like your brain is clear like so you will understand like what i actually wanted in my life that is what you will do next and when memory is sanctified one can think of path of liberation okay so this yoga system it is defined in such a way that in a step by step process you can get liberated so this is the process of the starting process the karma kanda so that is what the krishna is trying to explain here so i will i will not go deep into this yoga ladder but the subsequent slokas it will be explained but what is happening like when you start doing the agnas like why we need to do the agnas so first we will be having an animal life and then we will get the human body after the human body you you will we will start doing the karma kanda the karma kanda is doing, doing the agnas doing the agnas and getting the benediction and eating the sanctified food and everything what will happen you will have the confidence on the scriptures right like so somebody is saying that like you go to that that temple and worship your problem will be solved you are going and doing that and then your problem is solved what will happen 
you will get the faith on the deity right like once that faith develops then this slowly slowly your uh, you know love toward the deity will develop right the same way like when you are doing the agnya and you are getting the benediction then what will happen your faith toward the vedas will develop okay that is the first starting level and once the faith is developed then you will see that that you will go to this sakama karma yoga like okay now i know this is our all good things i have developed the faith and i have to start doing it more and more so what will happen you will start doing more agnyas and then but you will be still in the mind that i will get some benefits i will get slowly some benefits so you will still in the thing that is what we call as the sakama karma yoga okay once you start getting more in faith and start consuming the product of the agnyas which is a sanctified and purified one slowly you will elevate yourself to the next stage that is the niskama karma yoga niskama karma yoga meaning like whatever you are doing you are not expecting any fruit from that okay so this is the duty i have to do i will do it okay i am not expecting anything like in a corporate world like i am not expecting any appraisal at all let me do my duty at all can we live like that in this material world it is not possible at all right like so even how much ever appraisal we get we will not be satisfied okay even if we get 100 percentage we will not be satisfied that guy got 125 percentage but i worked more than him <laughs> how come i got only 100 percent right so that it is very difficult to go to this this karma karma yoga state right but once you reach that state what will happen your jnana will develop okay you will become a jnana yogi so you understand that these i i am renounced from the fruit from the activities which i am doing so once you get the jnana you will slowly renounce from the activity itself okay so in the nishkama karma yoga you renounce from the fruits of the activity when you elevate from that to the jnana yoga you will renounce from the activity itself okay i don't have to do anything like my only goal is to get liberated that the stage you will reach and then you start doing the ashtanga yoga that is where this yogis the mystic powers will develop you know that ashta siddhu that like hima pahima like that this eight siddhis like you can become the lighter than air and you can become the heaviest object in the earth and you can dismantle your body you can fly in the speed of the air like that many siddhis will will you start developing you get the control of your body right so that is the ashtanga yoga the purpose of this ashtanga yoga is doing that it's like so that you can start interacting directly with your paramatma we all have paramatma in our heart right like that is why like we are also aham brahmasmi will say people will uh, say that like so i am also god because i am also having paramatma in me but actually that is different like the personality form of the god is the one we are approaching okay so then the from the ashtanga yoga then you understand like who is the supreme and then go towards the bhakti yoga and develop the love towards the supreme personality of godhead which is none other than krishna okay this is the yoga ladder in this yoga ladder this shloka number 3.11 is explaining the first step like next the after the animal life the karma kanda so when you start doing this karma kanda when you start doing this yajna for the particular purpose like if i wanted to do some yajna for this particular purpose i will get this benefit to satisfy this particular demigod then what you will do you will start doing it and then you will get the benefit so that is what is happening in the previous yugas as well so if you see in the previous yugas like in the sakti yuga or in the treda yuga all the kings those who are ruling they are all called as the raja rishis okay they will do this agnyas for the benefit of all the people present in their kingdom so that everyone will get benefited by doing that agnyas so that is what happened in the previous yugas and slowly we got degraded 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 and we reach this stage where we are now but still we can do we can elevate ourselves in this ladder we can start doing all this karma kanda or doing this sakama karma yoga nishkama karma yoga and slowly elevate then go to the jnana yoga then understand the ashtanga yoga and then go to the bhakti yoga we can follow that but what is happening in this world in this age is there is one past time 
called the Prithu Maharaj. He is one of the descendant of Dhruva Maharaj. Okay. So Prithu Maharaj is he is a he is also one of the Raja Rishis. He was ruling very nicely. But what happened one time? All these Rishis and Munis in his kingdom, they will come to Prithu Maharaj and say that we are not getting any crops at all. Mother Earth is not providing us any crops. Okay, everything is become dusted, done and dusted like that. Then Prithu Maharaj will get angry and he will go to the Mother Earth like he is actually planned to kill the goddess. Okay, so plan to kill the Mother Earth. So he took bow and arrow and and started aiming at her. And what will happen? This Mother Earth, she will take a form of cow. The form of cow and she will start running. But even after taking the form of cow, Prithu Maharaj will not leave. He will be chasing her. And finally, the goddess, she started begging Prithu Maharaj. See, I am actually in the form of cow. You shouldn't kill me. But Prithu Maharaj was very angry because even after doing all these exams, you are not providing the required material to my king, people in my kingdom. So, then the goddess like replies like, so one of these sloka that is this pastime is, is there in the Srimad Bhagavadam 4th canto, 18th chapter, 7th sloka like this conversation. So, let us read only the translation. My dear king, not only are grains and herbs being used by non-devotees, but as far as I am concerned, I am not being properly maintained. Indeed, I am being neglected by kings who are not punishing these rascals who have turned into thieves by using the grains for sense gratification. Consequently, I have hidden all the seeds, all the seeds which were meant for the performance of sacrifices. This is happening in which yuga? This is happening in the previous yuga. This is Satya yuga, Treda yuga. Imagine the situation now in Kali yuga. Okay. So, what is happening is like all these facilities which is given by the Supreme Personality of God, God, we are started misusing it. Right? Misusing it for our sense gratification. And these, all the things also got contaminated. Now, if you start doing the karma kanda, do you think that you can effectively do any exam in your home? Anybody can say that? Can you think any exam in your home effectively? Like so, usually, like when your child is in one year age or something, like we will do the what is that exam that for the long life, na? We'll do Aishoma, we'll do in your home, or if you are doing Graha prayers, also we'll do. We will do the Lakshmi Oma, we will do the Ganesh Oma, right? But all these Omas which we are doing it, we have to understand one thing. Even though the demigod is the one pro benefactor giving that, but actually the actual benefactor of the all the actual beneficiary will go to Supreme Personality God, God, Lord Vishnu only. Okay. Even that Ajna Gunda we will keep it right in the Oma, that is actually the mouth of Vishnu, Lord Vishnu. So whatever you are putting, it's actually going to the Vishnu, right? Even if if you are doing a particular homa, like uh, you see that you know invoking that demigod, what you will do? Like Om Vinayagaya Namaha, Om Ge. Some some these all these invoking mantras, like everything will start from Om, right? But in the seventh chapter, Krishna is saying that among all the mantras, I am Om, right? So all these egnas is starting with Om, starting with the Krishna, starting with the Vishnu. And when you observe keenly, at the end of the Ajnas, the priest will say one mantra. Okay, that is actually Kayana Vasha Manasha Indriyava, Buddhyatmana Vada, Prakade Swabada, Karumi Yasat, Sagalam Paratmai, Narayana Yaidi, Samarpayami. Even after, while finishing the Ajnas, so we are giving everything to Lord Vishnu, Krishna only. So, even though we have many demigods. The benef real beneficiary is going to Lord Krishna. So that is why in this purport it is mentioned that, mentioned that Krishna is a Ajnapadi. If you see in the previous sloga, Krishna is mentioned as a Prajapadi. In this sloga, Krishna is a Ajnapadi. 
okay so he because he is the beneficiary like boktaram yajna tapasam whatever the yajna you do i am the beneficiary of that okay so even though that we have these demigods and all the devadas the real beneficiary is going to krishna okay so that we have to understand that now the question is do we really need to do this karma kanda any no. do we really need to know why anyway it's a wait for you know you can directly approach lord krishna wait okay you can directly approach the lord krishna so that that's one thing the second is in this age of kali it is very very difficult to do this yajna perfectly one reason that is why i told about the raja rishis they have more power and they have more austerity they can do this yajna perfectly but now in this present age it is very very difficult you will not get the pure goods pure material to do the yajna you will get the pure cow ghee wherever you go it will be contaminated so leave the ghee is like all the materials you will get the good priest right so do you think all this priest like in this in the present age like everybody are learning only the mantras which is related to the doing the homa they know only that okay i have to study this ganapati homa mantra this grav prayasa mantra this marriage mantra this only they they will mug up that and just come to the stage and repeat it right that is what happening so if even and also this priest especially this brahmana they should not demand any money that is the first quality of the brahmana do you think that is what is happening right now if you approach anybody there is there will be a bargaining will be going on right like you know no 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 i'll give only 15000 please please finish it like 20000 should you know so that is why it is very very difficult to do all the yajna sacrifices in this age of kali that is first. second is in the previous yugas we have this rajari they have the control but right now think about our politicians okay they are all against this all the politicians all the leaders they are all against this spiritual progress right so that is and with that too much of opposition with that too much of contamination can we able to do all these sacrifices yajna properly so it is very very difficult to follow this yoga ladder system and then get liberated very very difficult it is difficult to do this any yajna so you cannot properly satisfy this karma kanda part and it is difficult to elevate and going to the nishkama karma yoga that is almost impossible in this kali yuga this present age you cannot even a small task you do you will expect something like what if what i will get if i do this right? even the speaking to somebody else you now some people are very conscious i won't speak the, i will only speak with the person who will from whom i will get the benefit the other they don't mind at all like they will turn their head and go like what i will get by speaking with him why should i waste time with him okay, that is the mentality of the people right so it is very very difficult to do this karma yoga and jnana yoga then elevate yourself to the ashtanga yoga ashtanga yoga like krishna is telling that you have to in the sixth chapter you have to go to the forest can we find forest right now in this present day, uh, time right it is difficult to find the forest itself right even if you go to the forest there are all the all the bad activities are happening in the forest only than in the cities right so that is why it is difficult to very 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 difficult to do all this karma kanda yajna this jnana kanda everything in this age of kali so what is recommended in this age of kali is sangeetan yajna even that is also yajna okay even that is not yajna that is like directly to going to this bhakti yoga okay so when we do this yajna we have seen that who will be satisfied lord vishnu will be satisfied and even the demigod those who are satisfied they will go to the vishnu and submit that okay this person did this yajna i am very much satisfied i am submitting him i need your permission to grant his wish right that is the hierarchy is happening right so the actual beneficiary the final beneficiary is lord vishnu krishna how to satisfy him how to satisfy the krishna how to that is by the krishna krishna himself came as a lord chaitanya mahaprabhu and told 500 years back chaitanya mahaprabhu avatar 
just by chanting his name he will be satisfied just by chanting hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare by chanting these hare krishna maha mantra krishna will be satisfied imagine if you are chanting daily every time you are satisfying lord krishna supreme personality of god or the agnya padi how much benefit you will get see you are working in a microsoft and you are relative of uh, sachin adela so how people treat you in the office right so <laughs> you are really so like that you satisfy the agnya padis how the demigods will treat you right you will get everything like so another example we can say that it's in the shrimad bhagavatam itself that's a beautiful sloka that 4.31.14 यदा तदोर मूल निष्णेन त्रयप्ति तत्कंद बजो बजुपक्ष प्रणोपाहर चेन्द्रिया तत्व अच्युतेज एस पोरिंग वाटर ऑन दि रूट्स ऑफ ट्री एनर्जाइज द ट्रंक ब्रांचेस ट्विक्स एंड एवरीथिंग एल्स एड एंड एस सप्लाइंग फूड टू दि स्टोमक एनलिवन दि सेंस ऑफ लिम्स ऑफ द बॉडी simply by worshiping the supreme personality of god god through devotional service automatically satisfies the demigods we who are part of that supreme personality so when you satisfy the agnyapadi you don't have to worry about whether i will get something from this demigod i will get this no everything you will get it everything you will get it you don't have to worry that is what it is like pouring water to the root right like you want nice flower if you pour the water to the leaves you won't get it ultimately when you flour the when you pour the water on the leaves slowly it will go to root only but if you pour it directly to the root that beneficiary directly will go to the root. same like the another one example is like whatever we are eating it is going to our stomach only but all the whole body is getting the energy right so just by putting putting the food to the stomach we are getting the whole energy right same way just by satisfying the agnya padi you will get everything you don't have to worry about like so i have to do this then i will get the uh, you know there is a the you know, people those who are not married now they will say like go to this temple go to that temple go to that temple then you go here there and even like when you want to have a child like go here go here like no if you satisfy agnyapadi you will get everything right like when you satisfy krishna krishna will provide you everything that is what krishna even saying in this ninth chapter no like whatever if you are always remembering me and doing this then i will provide what you lack and i will preserve what you have ananya chindiyo domam yojana parivasade deshabhi yuktanam yoga shemam mahamiham i will provide whatever you lack and i will preserve what you have okay so even krishna in this govardhan leela right in the whatever what people are doing in the vrindavana like they are doing the yagna for the indra lord indra and the krishna like a small boy telling his uh, telling nanda maharaj please don't do these things okay grigovardhan and we will do the puja to the grigovardhan and brahmana they are the one you know sustaining everything the grigovardhan is the one giving the night grass and everything to the cows through the cows only we are living very lavishly so we have to do puja for grigovardhan and the brahmana like that is what krishna is suggesting and even that you know cracked up the indra what indra did like he couldn't do anything like of course he used to varna and made a big storm and everything but what krishna did it like he saved everyone right like just like that and then indra realized his mistake and he came down and apologized and you know begged mercy to the lord krishna right so that is what will happen when you satisfy the supreme personality when you satisfy the agnya padi you don't have to worry about other agnya right even that is krishna also saying that in the 18th chapter at the end sarva dharmam parichesya mahamegam saranam praja okay so we have to understand even this karma yoga and everything is there in book but in this age it is very very difficult to follow that we have to understand thoroughly and what the one agnya it is possible and what the one yagna which is very easy and what the one yagna which is which will give you the highest benediction is sangirtana yagna especially in this age of kali so when you start doing this sangirtana yagna when you start chanting keep chanting every day 
ignapadi will be happy then you will get everything you don't have to think about that at all you don't have to think about like i want this i want this. krishna knows he is there as a parmatma in your soul don't have to think about it at all just satisfying just surrender to him just chant chant regularly like hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare that is enough to give to get all the benediction from lord krishna any questions any questions there is no christian can we chant one round of hare krishna mahamudra beating life stop in stop okay jay shri krishna chaitanya prabhu nityananda shri advaita gadadhara ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಾದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಹರೇ